Hello, all dinosaurs. I'm Dan, and happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today we have plenty of new figures to unbox, and then we have all the different Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous figures inside this box. So let's get right into it, okay? So firstly, let's take a look at this brand new Ceratosaurus Clash set. Okay, and this is from Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous um, series. Okay, so if you take a look at this box, this Ceratosaurus right over here is actually a brand new figure with a new paint scheme. We're gonna do a comparison with this previous Ceratosaurus later on. And these two figures right over here, they look like, you know, um, similar figures to um, the attack packs. Of course, right over here, you're able to see different Camp Cretaceous characters. You have Carnotaurus Toro, you have um, Darius of Kenji, and you have, um, is, is she Brooklyn? I think so. Okay, so let's get this out of the box. I've already cut the tape loose. So, yes. Okay, let's take a look at this Velociraptor. This Is this like Charlie? I'm not too sure, or is this just a generic Velociraptor? So basically, this is um, similar to the previous Velociraptors that we have. So let's not go into details for this. And of course, we have blue right over here, which is exactly the same as um, what we've got previously from the attack packs. Okay, so I'm just gonna place this away. And next, let's take a look at um, this Ceratosaurus. Okay, this Ceratosaurus is right over here. The tail is actually kept inside this um, casing, so let's get this out and let's fix the tail in. So look out for this little spikes over here to align with the spikes on top of his body and neck. So just snap it right in, easily done. Okay, let's check out um, this button. So well, let's press it. Okay, it's basically just a button which triggers the jaw. So as you guys can see, once you press this button, the jaw will just open and close. It's pretty nice. So in terms of the colors, we're gonna do a comparison very shortly, but here is the code for you guys to actually scan in your Jurassic World effects app, okay? I've never really actually um, spend time and effort in scanning all these figures. Maybe one day we shall do it. Alright, so this is the Ceratosaurus from the Clash set and let's do a comparison with the Rorivore. So this is the Ceratosaurus all the way back um, in 2018, I guess. Yeah, and um, the, the raws are no longer working, but that's fine. Let's place this Ceratosaurus over here. And let's move on to our next figures. Let's take a look at some Camp Cretaceous figures first. Okay, so we have Baryonyx Green right over here, which also has no rosh, okay? Okay, so before we actually proceed with more figures inside this box, I wanted to show you guys this set that I've purchased recently. So I've never actually got my hands on this set until recently. So it comes with some new figures. So let's open this up. I think we have to use plenty of force cause this portion right here is actually glued. It is actually not taped. So we need to force our way. And yes. Oh, some dinosaurs are roaring in the background. So let's get this out. We're gonna do a comparison. I love this Dilophosaurus, I think. Um, the color, the colors combination is really, really nice. Okay, it comes with a beautiful um, background of um, the island. Okay, let's get this Velociraptor out from the box. Okay, it's kind of tough to actually get all this out. Okay, so this is basically like the action attack Velociraptor where you can just, just press the legs against um, the floor, the ground, and it will just leap as you release it. So this paint scheme is new, okay, this is actually unique. So you, you don't have this paint scheme for other figures. So this is really nice, so I'm not too sure, could this be um, Delta? I don't think so. I think it's just 
a generic um, Velociraptor. Let's get this out. This it's a Daily Mimers, and um, this paint scheme is definitely unique as well. It is like a light or um, greenish tone. So if you guys want to scan it, you can actually scan it as well. Okay. Let's take a look at this um, Galley Mimers. This is the same as the Attack Pack Galley Mimers. So nothing really special about this. Okay. And this Dimorphodon, it's also the same Dimorphodon from the Attack Packs. As you guys uh, know. Yeah, so there's nothing really special about this as well. But for this Pteranodon, I think this is a um, unique paint scheme. Yes, I think so. I have two of these Pteranodons. We're gonna do a comparison very shortly. Just gonna place this Pteranodon over here. And um, this definitely looks like a Pteranodon, which is, um, let me just move the camera slightly closer over here so you can have a closer look. Yep, if you take a look at this Pteranodon, it's really beautiful. I love the, you know, the brown patterns across the jaw. So once you press this button, the wings will flap and um, there's articulation on the mouth, but you have to do it manually, yeah. And here's the code for you to scan if you want it, okay? So you can actually download um, the Jurassic World Facts app very easily. Where is my arm? Um, the Lophosaurus, yes, it's right over here. This figure is the one which I am most excited about. So, but it's so hard to get them out. You basically have to force away. And there's this little venom right here. So we need to get the venom out. I remember it was not easy. Oh, there you go. It's pretty easy. <laughs> All right, so you can just stick this in to its uh, mouth. So it is as if it is spitting venom, yeah. Same scene as the scene in Jurassic Park. And this Dilophosaurus is definitely a new paint scheme. Very beautiful paint scheme, I love this. This has a um, brown base with some turquoise green across the body, so it looks really nice. And the frill, this frills right here, you can actually open them up. So the Dilophosaurus is actually known as the Double Crested Lizard, but not because of these two frills because of this two crests on top of his um, head. Okay, so let's dig right into this box. I know you guys have been waiting for this. So basically this box contains plenty of um, Camp Cretaceous figures and of course some other figures which we want to do a comparison. So this is the Soundstrike Parasaurolophus, the beautiful Parasaurolophus from Camp Cretaceous, which has a um, shiny sheen. Yes, and um, apparently they are able to like glow in the dark. So yeah, and the, the, in the series, it's really nice. It's really beautiful. And um, just gonna place this right over here. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's take a look at this um, Stegosaurus. So this Stegosaurus is also from the, from the Camp Cretaceous set. It came along with the Baryonyx in a, um, in a set. So yep, this is Baryonyx Green and this is um, Stegosaurus, a generic Stegosaurus. So this Stegosaurus acts the same as the Action Attack Stegosaurus. So once you press this plate, the tail will swing and of course this Roof Lizard, which is the nickname of our Stegosaurus, it's really well done, I, I love it. This is um, Sinoceratops. So this was the Ceratopsian which actually um, sort of like indirectly saved um, Owen's life because it was actually licking his face when the volcano lava was just flowing towards him so it was really really exciting in that scene so this Sinoceratops it's the new Sinoceratops you know previously they actually had a pecky rhinoceros and they named it as the Sinoceratops um, incorrectly on the box yeah that's right okay take a look at this we have a Mosasaurus right over here. Okay, this is um, from the Snap Squad. And this is also from the Camp Cretaceous series, okay? A couple of um, other Camp Cretaceous figures, mini figures right over here, and this is the Triceratops. So the Camp Cretaceous 
um, series snap squad all of them has a shiny sheen so that's really beautiful okay and this indominus rex which comes with a rib um like some ribs rib bones um the, which is inside this box it's also from camp cretaceous series so you can basically fit um this indominus rex right here you make it chomp down the ribs it will just glow the lights will uh, the eyes will glow yeah it's really cute really adorable there's no code for you to scan for this baby indominus rex yeah so let's take a look at this um dilophosaurus okay this dilophosaurus is from the savage strike series really cool figure so you can basically bend the tail and it would just scream not really scream it would just screech and the frills would just open up and we just speed venom so it's really nice to simulate that scene in Jurassic Park yeah we have more um Dilophosaurus and this is the first Dilophosaurus from the attack pack um, green in color so let's do a comparison with this so basically the pose of these two figures they are exactly the same as you guys can see the pose is exactly the same just that this two has different or um, paint scheme yeah if you take a look yeah but both are so cool this Dilophosaurus I think are some of the best figures from the attack packs okay next up let's take a look at Kanotaurus Toro I think by now you guys should be so familiar with it Kanotaurus Toro um, this is the control and concur Kanotaurus Toro so if you guys notice if you guys watch the series Hannah Taurus got this scar while she or it was trying to capture the kids Darius and Kenji yeah and that you know the part of the cage actually just went down and just sort of like snapped on his snout sort of yeah yeah so it got its cut from that fence the metal fencing Next up, let's take a look. Okay, I basically brought this to show you guys the different Dilophosaurus that we have um, from Mattel. Yeah, so this is the, the one which can um, um, spot water. So basically dip it into water, press the belly and just, you know, shoot, shoot out some water. So it's pretty cool. Next up, we have this um, epic roaring T-Rex. And this is also from Camp Cretaceous series. This is very nice. Um, in terms of detailing, it is actually much better than um, all the previous T-Rex. The pin scheme is slightly duller, which is slightly more realistic. So press this, check this out. You press the button on the tail, the head will actually vibrate. Yeah, and it will just roar. It's super cool. This has definitely got to be the best Camp Cretaceous um, figure. All right, I brought this um, Ceratosaurus to basically show you how many Ceratosaurus we have so far. So we have one from the original first wave, Rorivore, and this is the second wave, Rorivore, and this is the Camp Cretaceous series. So which color scheme do you guys like the best? To be really, really honest, I kind of like this too more because it's more vibrant and more colorful, but you know, between these two, it's actually hard for me to pick one which I prefer more. What about you guys? Let me know down below. Okay, next up, um, this Styracosaurus should be, I'm not too sure, I can't really remember. It should be from the Camp Cretaceous series as well. This is the Savage Strike Styracosaurus, which is known as the Spiked Lizard because of the spike right in front of the snout. So the nickname is Spiked Lizard. Yeah, Spiked. How do you pronounce it? Spike. <laughs> yeah, spike. Okay, um, let's move on. This is Velociraptor. I've always get this wrong. This is Velociraptor Delta. I'm just gonna call this Velociraptor Delta. So if I got this wrong, please guys help me out down below. So this is basically like um I call this like the um um action attack cause it has some actions right here so you basically press it down you 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 let it go and you just spring right up it's very cool and this paint scheme is really nice you can see the stripes across the body really beautifully painted 
Okay, um, I wanted to brought, I wanted to bring some um, Dilophosaurus to show you the different Dilophosaurus that we have as compared to the one which you have just unboxed. So basically, we have this from, um, yeah, all the way back some time ago last year. We have another one which is um, from the attack packs. And this one right here was also available previously so this is actually nothing new yeah so so basically we have four different dimorphodon did i call this dilophosaurus i beg your pardon if i if i did that um this is actually dimorphodon so basically we have four different pain schemes when it comes to dimorphodons okay let's move on to pteranodons yes and this is Another version of the Pteranodon. This is the one which we have just seen. Beautiful. I actually like this a lot. This is actually the battle damage um, Pteranodon. We have one more inside. Okay, let's get it out. So we have one more. So if you do a comparison, this Pteranodon looks slightly different to this. So, but both have the same function okay so basically we have three different types of pteranodons over here i think is this the legacy i can't really remember guys so if you guys know do help me out down below and i wanted to show you more galley mimers yes this one is a really beautiful galley mimers this is the best one of the lot this is the galley mimers from legacy collection so there's a button for you to press and the legs will just run yeah very beautiful and this is the galley mimers from battle damage very very similar to this in fact i feel the sculpt are, are the same but it has a battle damage wound this galley mimers i think among all of the galley mimers, this has definitely got to be the one which is slightly um, inferior, I feel. But if you take a look, you can see the paint scheme are different. So it's not too bad. At least we've got another um, um, galley mimers to add into our collection. A different galley mimers. Okay, next up will be some Camp Cretaceous figures. We have Sticky, Sticky Moloch. Okay, this is um, the Camp Cretaceous Sticky Moloch. Savage Strike Sticking Moloch. We have a Pachycephalosaurus. This is not from Cam Cretaceous, but this is definitely a new Savage Strike or um, Pachycephalosaurus. Yeah, pretty nice. Luminous green. Okay, not exactly luminous green, but bright green below. And plenty of Happy Meal figures. Okay, take a look at this. Okay, this is a T Rex from McDonald's Happy Meal Cam Cretaceous series, the Triceratops. So these are actually available in US. Okay, and this is a Snap Squad from Cam Cretaceous and Calosaurus with a beautiful shiny sheen of blue. Looks so nice. And um, we have the Indominus Rex, which I think could be an Asia exclusive. I got this from Singapore McDonald's. Really cute. This is the Indominus Rex. Oops. Okay. Um, Bumpy. Bumpy should be available in many countries. Okay. There are more. There are actually like um, Baryonyx as well. So I'm trying to get my hands on the Baryonyx um, McDonald's one as well. And this is Conotaurus. Okay. And this is. I mean, this is Carnotaurus from McDonald's Happy Meal, and this is Carnotaurus Toro from the Snap Squad. Yeah, and of course, you can see the scars across the snout right over here. Beautifully done. And last but not least, we have the meat. We have the food for the baby Indominus Rex. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, so today, I'm gonna pick some of my most favorite figures from today's video, okay? Gonna pick three of them. Um, Epic Roaring T-Rex definitely has to be um, number one, okay? Hmm. I'm gonna pick the new Ceratosaurus as one of my most favorite as well. And finally, 
but not least, we have the Sinoceratops. So I'm gonna rate this three as my, you know, most favorite three figures from this video. What about you guys? Let me know down below. Hope that you guys enjoy this video, okay? Wow, we have done plenty of unboxing. And um, yes, I hope to see you soon in the next video, probably on Monday or Wednesday. Okay, I'll be uploading more videos on my second channel, which is known as Dan Safari and my own personal channel, More Dan, where I do daily vlogs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing a house tour on that channel really soon, probably next week. So stay tuned. All right, so I'll see you guys really soon. Goodbye.